All right, I have an iPad Pro 9.7 here, and it looks like ZXW actually has, um, looks like they have schematics already. I mean, it says, it's listed as iPad Pro 12.9 inch, but this is actually a, a 9.7 inch uh, iPad Pro here, schematics. Uh, it doesn't have all the components and stuff like that, but it does have the traces, so that's pretty good. Um, but the problem is, I don't really know which one's the backlight. I mean, I've been kind of looking at looking through this thing already, and uh, I mean, to me, this looks like you just scroll over towards the battery connector a little bit, you'll see these uh, these coils here and these diodes, and that looks like a backlight to me, doesn't it? Like coil diode backlight, I see. You know, that all makes sense, right? But if you look at it here, you look at the schematics now, and then you kind of go over here. This is where everything is. So VCC main looks like goes in to feeds the diode, and the diode goes to ground. That's kind of weird. Diode doesn't go to ground. I mean, not in the other backlight systems. So I don't know exactly what I'm missing here, but that's got to be it, right? Or maybe that's a touch system. I don't know. Um, and then you know, if I scroll over a little bit towards the connector here, like nothing really stands out in terms of which one is the back is the is the felt is the um, filter you know I think maybe, maybe this one but you know this traces go over to this one this little guy and that does not look familiar to me I don't even know what the hell that is so how do you how do I know which one's the backlight so the backlight's out I don't have another screen to test with it might even be a screen really because nothing really I mean backlight filter you can normally tell is like was blown up you know so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to look for um, 4 volts uh, by plugging this puppy in and then just testing the pins. I think, I think I'll try to do that and we'll see what happens, okay? Because I should get about 4 volts and that'll, that'll give me a little bit better idea of which one is the backlight. Um, hopefully. So I'm going to turn my multimeter voltage mode, plug it in. I know it's powering up. You know, I see the ammeter. So I'm in voltage mode now. And I'm just going to go to ground. And, and then I'm just going to kind of, I'm assuming this is the, the, the LCD connector here, so, so that's 3.3 volts. I mean, I should get right around 4 volts, so let's see. That's 4 volts right there. So that, maybe that is the backlight. Yeah, that's probably it. It's usually at the end. Just make sure you don't short anything out. Those are all ground, it seems like. So, these are all zero volts, weird. I mean, I don't think anything up here is, is that. So, I'm going to assume that these four pins right here are the backlight. Because it would make sense. These kind of go and go to this, this thing right there. That looks a little crusty. So, I think it's probably that filter that's bad, even though it's testing fine. And I don't really see anything else that might be... 4.1 volts. I mean, that's that's it. That's got to be it. Sorry, you guys can't even see that, but <coughs> all right. So what I did was, I just uh, I just te this thing's powered on now. Uh, I know it's powering on because I'm it's drawing two amps on my amp meter here, and I just kind of poked around some of the end pins because that's generally speaking that's where the um the backlight is. So I tested these four pins right here, which are exactly you know they are they're linked together and it goes it's four volts. So generally speaking, a backlight with uh you know something that's powering up with no backlight generally generates about four volts. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace this filter just because it looks a little bit crusty. Right, that one right there, and we'll we'll see if that fixes it because the diode and the coil they they both look fine. So let me power everything down. You know I'll just do it right now. All right. And another question is, you know, what, like, what, that looks like a 0402 component. Doesn't look like a standard backlight, um, size of a backlight. So, yeah, that looks a little bit bigger than normal. Um, so, I guess the next question is, what, uh, what do I use to replace it? And, you know, I, I mean, I test it, my multimeter here, and it's 
definitely generating there's definitely continuity across that so I don't know what's going on with it you know what let me check diode mode real quick just to just to see if it's giving me like 0.2 then 0.56 I mean they, they all look pretty good so I don't know what's going on man um so it's these four pins right here <coughs> And then they go to the, the go, you know, other side of the filter goes to here, and then I don't know what this little box does. It's probably ground. And then this goes over to VCC main. So this is VCC main, and then something here. <clears throat> I mean, I don't think that's, I mean, it looks kind of crusty, but it doesn't look like it's bad. And that's got to be the LCE connector. <clears throat> and then I don't see anything else wrong with anything. So, I don't really know what's going on with this, man. I mean, best thing to do is probably just get another screen, really. You know what? I wonder if I have another 9.7 inch coming in, in here that's waiting for me. <clears throat> iPad. Nope. That is the only 9. Point s oh, nope. That's the only 9.7 inch iPad Pro that I have that is uh, being worked on. So I would probably have to buy another screen. So let me... Uh, I don't even know what to do here. Because um, that... You know, this, is, this looks like it's got to be it. Two dual backlight system, diodes, backlight IC, I think. But, although 343, three, maybe a touch system. So that maybe that's a touch system. <coughs> Oh, maybe these puppies, maybe, are the backlight diodes? Diodes coil. Okay, let's double check. So let's go over here. <coughs> this is reverse, so... It would be this one. And this guy. Okay, okay. So those are the backlight filters. No? Oh, no, those are the backlight, um... Okay, that's, so that makes sense. So let's take a look. So the coil, let's see. Backlight filter... Oh, okay, that right there is the... Okay. You see this? Okay, so... Alright, let's take a look. So, <clears throat> these are actually... The, so, this is probably the touch system right here. Touch system... Because 343 is generally a touch chip. And I don't think the iPads have a backlight IC. So this is probably a... Well, actually, they do. I know the 12.9 does. But 343 is generally, I think, a touch. I, mean, I know Mason is 343. So this is probably a touch chip. And two touch coils, two touch diodes. And then this is probably the backlight coil. Backlight coil, backlight diode, backlight diode, backlight caps. Makes sense. Yeah, so now, if we trace it, if we trace this thing back here to the diode, uh, let's see. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, the diode and the caps, which leads to the connector. And then this would be the filter right here. And that... <clears throat> is it. So, so let's drill in and find out where that is. And voila. Okay, so let's test this filter right here. Powered down, no power, battery disconnected, and there's no continuity. Okay, so let's do diode mode. <clears throat> Oh well. Alright. So. Let's. I think it connects here, right? So there's another cap, it looks like. Is that a cap? Third one in. <coughs> Okay, those are caps, backlight caps, backlight filter. Okay, so that's probably it. So I think we found our, I think we found our backlight filter. 
I'm going to venture to guess that that's got to be it. So let's just do it. You know what? I think I need to do it the other way. I'm going to burn that thing. So. Shit. Okay. So let's just. Okay, that's done. And then that would make sense too because this filter is actually the same size as. the iPhone 6 um, S backlight filter. So we're going to go with a 240 ohm, 350 milliampere, 0201 iPhone 6S backlight filter. I don't know if this is correct or not. I know, there, I know there's an iPhone 7 backlight filter, which is a little bit rated a little bit higher, so... I think at some point, you know, <laughs> if we have some issues with these, then we'll have to maybe switch to those. But for now, I think this will work, since there's really no way to... I guess we can measure the resistance of these things uh, when they're good. And then we can probably make a determination whether it's... Uh, we can make a determination whether it's the 6S backlight filter or... Mm. You know what? What does the iPad use for a backlight filter? The iPad Air. What is that? What do they use? Probably the same as those, I imagine. So this should fix the problem. All right. So that probably this makes the most sense right here. Pretty sure it's going to fix it. So let's just get our diode reading just just for now and and. Uh, Just so that we have reference for later, alright? Point three zero, okay, and then we'll do the touch side as well. Point five seven, okay. So let's see if it works. Let's see if that fixed the problem or not. I think it I think it will. So So I guess the point is, make sure you disconnect the battery. I don't, I'm pretty sure they didn't disconnect the battery when they replaced these things. But, uh... Okay, so we are in. Um, I probably don't even need to screw it in. Really. Oh, yeah, no, I'll screw it in. Just because it's awkward otherwise. So if they disconnect the battery, you should see this little flap. You know, you should see creases in the flap, and uh, there are definitely no creases in this flap. So, I'm pretty sure they didn't disconnect the battery. But, okay, so let's see if it works. Hopefully, it doesn't blow up on me. All right. Plug this mother in. And we should be in business. Voila. Voila. Oh yeah. Okay, there you go. So, you see it? Apple logo. Apple logo minus the light. Alright. We are in business. And, uh, that's it, really. Oh, my face, my face, my face. Um. Okay. So, we're... Damn, we were in business, all right. Um, so that's it. So that's how you do an iPad Pro 9.7 backlight filter repair. All right, take care.